Welcome everyone. <laughs> Welcome to 20 minute intervals. Today, we're going with a pre-exhaust kind of theme. So I'm gonna work um, several muscle groups. I'm gonna do some isolation work, some compound moves. The theory is we're gonna fatigue those muscles, make them scream, make them burn. <laughs> All right, I want you to get warm. I want you to get warm anyway. Um, that you want to really, so you can jog around the garden and take a little march into a jog, whatever you fancy. You can take any of the ideas I've gone, I've used in my previous um, hit classes. Maybe that little bounce from side to side. Maybe just roll through your shoulders, get the mobility, a bit of mobility going in there. You choose. Again, as always, please wear appropriate footwear. Don't go barefoot, especially when you're lifting stuff. Good heavens, you don't want to drop that on your toes. Okay, so imagine we're warm. We're ready to go. Promise me you're warm, yeah? You're warm. All right, we need a selection of weights. First of all, we're gonna start with some big muscles. We're gonna go with the back. Now I'm gonna isolate the back. We're gonna lie down on the floor. I'm going with intervals of about, actually it's about 22 seconds, just to make it hit about 20 minutes. Right, so it looks like this. 20 seconds, here we go. Onto the floor. All right, squeeze your bum and lift your chest and lower. Back extensions, easy peasy lemon squeeze. This is an awesome exercise. Squeeze your bum and lift. Now to make it harder, bring your arms out here. Maybe you'd like to go up, open, down, and down. Stop, you choose. All right, um, let's look at back round two. We're gonna do some deadlifts. Now this is great actually with a bar. So I'm using kettlebells and other stuff because it's not the true, but it's great with a bar. So let's place it on the floor. Let's lift your chest, roll back your shoulders. Bend your knees, pick it up, push your hips forward. Down and up. Drive through your heels. It does work really best with the bar. Up and rise. I will show you with the bar in another one. But at the moment, I'm talking saving space. So bend your knees, lift your chest, roll back your shoulders, stand up and come back again. So that work your back, amongst other things, legs, glutes. Let's come back down. Let's isolate the back of your body again. So your first round is actually the easiest. If I'm honest, squeeze your bum, lift, and lower, or up, open, down. There's all sorts you can do with back extensions. You can even do this, one side, and the other side. You can make it interesting. So take a little pinch between your shoulder blades. Lift and lower with control. That's really powerful, that. All right then, let's deadlift. So again, big colossal weight, preferably a bar. Bar's good, but not essential. So, you can put your toes forward, you can take them slightly apart, drop it onto the floor. Hinge from your hips, roll back your shoulders. As you drive up, push your hips forward and stand tall. If your weight's light, you may want to go a little bit quicker. If you've got a bar and it's colossal, you may want to go slow. You may want to take a couple of seconds at the top. Two, one, and make sure those heels stay on the floor there. Okay, okay, back to back extensions. First round's the easiest. Easy peasy, then squeezy, eh? All right. Let's move your bum. I'm gonna do this one. Up, open, in, and back. I'm gonna squeeze all the way down the back of my body, top to bottom. Any niggles in there, take a breather. Big weight, bigger than this. So let's place on the floor. Let's hit the chest, let's roll about the shoulders, squeeze in between the shoulder blades, let's come this way. Lift, drive, squeeze your bars forward. Drop your hips back, lift your chest, and drive. I'm getting warm now.
extensions. All right, the said lift. So drop in, lift your chest, go back to shoulders, drive up, squeeze your bums. So the hip drives there, boom, to wet your bum. It's a big, strong move for your posterior chain, your powerhouse. Makes you strong from head to toe, does this one. One more. Yeah. Done. Awesome. Back. Right, let's move on to the second biggest muscle group we're going to wear today. It's the chest. We're going to start with flies. So we're going to isolate your pecs. Hand weights. One in each hand. Let's lie down. 22 seconds. Ready? Steady. Go. Right. Let's do it. It's an open and close. Arms are straight. Elbows are soft. Open and close. If it's not heavy, you pulse it. You choose. It's like giving someone a giant hug in this one. So what better way to wet your chest and other muscles? How do you press ups? Hands wide in chest, and shoulders even, down and up. Knees, toes, chest and arm and elbows. Right, how do you make this easier? You grab a step or the stairs. Any raised platform. Oh, I'm just a bit. I'll do it like that. And you put your hands on there, down and up. So it makes it a little bit easier because your arms are elevated. So if you want to do that, you can try that one instead. All right, let's come back to flying. Let's smash your chest. So this move here requires something heavy-ish, but not too heavy. If you were doing a press like that, you could press heavier than the flies. The flies feel quite tough. So don't try and lift with press weight. If you can fly with a press weight, then you will not press in heavy enough. Squeeze it. I'm gonna squeeze one more in there. Nice. Press ups. So the press ups will crunk your chest, your pecs, and they also work your triceps and your shoulders. And of course your core. Down and up. So how can we make these harder? Just for fun, we could walk from side to side. We're bringing the chest in line with the top elbow. You can pulse the bottom half. As always, you take a box position. And stop. Let's lie down. Back to flies, back to isolation. Back to that open close. So, arms are straight, elbows are soft. Just squeeze yeah, together right there. Now feel free to play along with timings. You can always slow down the down phase. Right there. Take as long as you like. And then maybe a big powerful squeeze to the top. And squeeze one more of those bad boys in. And we'll come up and do some press ups. I've not quite got enough weight on those flies. So I need just to do a couple more reps there. Two, one, go. Oh. So this is only 20 ish seconds, this one. But keep going, don't stop, don't stop. You can play around with timings. You can do um, the old pyramid kind of timings. You can do 35 seconds, um, 20 seconds going up to 35 seconds. So you can change the timings a little bit, add a little bit more intensity, especially if your weight's not heavy enough. But then back to these, last set. And as always, play around with your tempos. And that one a bit more, a couple of pulses at the bottom. As I said, slow all the way down. Yeah, squeeze together. One more for me. Yeah. Right, that's set press ups. All right. So your alternative set of press ups is you may prefer to do. Um, Press with the barbell, stay lying down, or maybe stay with those hand weights and do some presses like this. So you've got the flies, and then you press with the barbell with hand weights. Or press up. And 
hold it. Incidentally, press ups are harder with your feet on a raised platform. So if you want to make those tough, you can put your feet on there. Right then, what's next? Let's work your triceps. Something heavy ish. We can isolate them with an extension. You can use a bar to take an extension with the bar. If you've got a barbell, I'll show that one day. We'll do that one day. This one, I'm using a kettlebell today. I'm gonna do this. We all know this one. No one loved that one. All right, 20 seconds ish. Go. Down, I'm gonna split my stance like that. Let's go back a bit. So if you can see, only my elbows are moving. I'm bringing the kettlebell to the bottom of my neck. Biceps are by ears. Now, how do we work our triceps with a compound move? We're gonna do some dips today. You can do some triceps, some narrow press ups instead. Let's do some dips. Now, you can use a chair to dip, or to make it harder, you can go lower onto the floor. Um, sorry, tell a lie, to make it easier, you can go lower onto the floor. Down and up. Now, if you feel any niggles in your shoulders, dips aren't for everyone, then I would go with a tricep press up instead. So I'll show you those in a second. Two, one. Yeah, these are gonna kick in. Dips are blooming tough, I'll tell you that. Right. Let's do this one. Ready? Steady? Go. Chest elbows. So a really quick, like 20 minute workout. Optimizing maximum fatigue. And stop, yeah, that's good. That's working that one. All right, dips. Dips on the chair or tricep press ups. So you go with the dip. We've done some press ups, you might not do it anymore. Narrow this time. On the bench is easier than the floor, just like before. Elbows, brush your ribs. Can you see me? Where can you see me? Elbows, brush your ribs. Push the step or the floor away using the heels of your hands. So we need to do this. It's not this. It's this. It's hard. Maybe for dips, maybe not. You guys come on your knees. Right then. Let's pick up. Let's isolate again. Three, two, one. This really is a great way of working more or less your whole body in 20 minutes. I'm making the most out of it. This way of training is gonna work your body to failure. Four, three, two, one. Oh, that's good, that one. So dips, tricep press-ups, you choose. I'm gonna do some dips, just for fun. <laughs> All right, three, two. So as I said before, you can go on a step and you can take your step close to the ground. Another example of a dip, a really basic one, is this. It's to bring, I'm moving all over the place, it's to bring your arms back. So this is, a dip to cut, cut up. So if you fancy this one instead, just rock your mat slightly, put your body weight in your arms rather than your legs. Right, last set, triceps. Isolation, three, two, one. How are we doing? Well, that's a lot. All right? Yeah, all right. <laughs> 15. Do you want to make them harder if you've not got enough weight? Do you want to pulse them? Do you want to add some speed? Remember, we're isolating. We're only moving through one joint, and that be your elbows. Two, one, stop. Right, last set. I've worked for your triceps. Let's dip or let's press. You choose. Three, two, well, let's get some speed. So drive through the heels of your hands, point your elbows straight back. Now the temptation is to push your feet right. Don't do it. 13, you don't have to go too far, especially on a chair, never too low. Don't pull your shoulders out. <laughs> Slide your shoulders back. Think really long and strong throughout the body. Four, three, two, one. Well, it's hard not to use your legs there. It's hard not to put your body weight in your legs. Right, let's work from there to there. That's what your biceps. 
So I'm going to pick up a couple of hamlets, but again, a bar probably works better if you've got a bar. One in each hand. All right. Well, I picked up something quite heavy there, we'll see. <laughs> right. Two, one, go. I'm going to go nice and slow because my weights are heavy. And you can choose any kind of grip you like. You can go with a hammer. You can go with a hammer to underhand. You can, especially if you've got weights that you wish were a little bit heavier, maybe try that running one and stop. Now, from here, let's row. Let's take an underhand grip to really kick into the biceps. Down and up. Now a row works your lats and the back of your shoulders, but it also uses your biceps as a stabilizing muscle. So we're still working them, especially with that underhand grip. If you go with an outside grip, you're still working your biceps. Six. Not overtly working them, they are working as part of the move. Two, one, two. That's good. So this one, it's quite boring. You just stand here with these hand weights. So again, it'd be quite fun to grab a bar. Maybe for one of them, you could use a bar for both. Two, one, go. So I'm going slow, just because these are quite heavy for me. We've got to keep the elbows in, the shoulders back. Seven seconds. Five. Three, two, and one. Again, you can put them down, you can shake them out whenever you need. You know that, I always say that. Take a breather whenever you need it. Rows, underhand, overhand. Maybe a bar with an underhand grip, that's awesome. Two, one, it'd be the same principle with a bar. It'd look like that. Exactly the same, imagine you're holding the bar. So you may find, you should find, that these feel a little bit easier if you've got the same weight. So maybe it'd be interesting to use these for bicep curls and then pick up a loaded bar for the rows. Stop. We're good. Strong, powerful arms. Four, three, two, and go. One, then the other. Or two hands together. Body nice and still. Shoulders back. for the chest and the back. They've got to be quite heavy. But these, these last two are really kicking in. So chest and back, heavy-ish. Triceps and biceps, not as heavy. But as I always say, if you've only got one set of weights, change, mess about with the tempos. Make the tempos harder when you've only got light weights and you need them heavier. I'll go a bit quicker. Two, one, yeah. Right, let's set these bad boys. Here ready to go, hinge forward. You're feeling good, we're nearly there. See, 20 minutes, done. Three, two, one. And today, today's my cardio day. So this 20 minutes is just enough. Actively squeeze into the front of your arms. As you squeeze into the side of your back and into your back of your shoulders. Three, two, one. One. That was fabulous, and that was simple, right? And that should have worked wonders. Feeling good? Yes. Right, let's take a quick release, and then we've done. So, we work your shoulders. Just give them a quick release, whatever feels good. So you may want to hold these 10 seconds. If they're not big prime movers, you may not want to hold them for 10 seconds. 
chest. We need what your chest. So let's open and squeeze. I'm filming in here today, so it's a bit lighter. Even though the other room I've got's really, uh, it's got big old windows. It's, it does seem quite dark when I'm filming there. Reach into the sky. Press your palms up to the sky. Slide your shoulders back. That's going to stretch out through the side of your body. That's really good there. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. I quite like this one. This one's really worked. And it's like 20 minutes. Awesome. Push back. So let's release your back. That's for your upper back. You may need to do that. That's for your lower back. Your back's work hard as well. Another alternative for the deadlifts would be swings. So if you prefer swings instead of those deadlifts, you can go for that. Let's give your legs a quick release. If you just come down towards the floor, they work during those deadlifts. And then as usual, bring your heel into your bum. So just keep on dancing, she says. Just keep on moving, despite all this madness that's going on at the moment. The craziness of being isolated in with your family. <laughs> just keep on moving, don't stop. Let's take, oh, that's great, triceps. Maybe you can hinge behind your back. And this one. You have done it, yes! Give yourselves a round of applause. Wow, well done, see you next time.